Hey guys, this is Dr. Timothy Lineski with Lake Cumberland Rheumatology. Wanted to talk to you today on my way back from the Smoky Mountains to uh, Somerset, Kentucky about hand osteoarthritis versus rheumatoid arthritis and the pattern that there are um, associated with the hands. So essentially when you have hand osteoarthritis, what happens is, is you go through about a one to two year period where you'll develop joint swelling and significant amount of stiffness and pain. This will be located in the DIP and the PIP joints. So it can go all the way around all of those fingers and it can be on the bilateral hands or both sides. This generally is seen in family members, either a brother or sister or mother, grandmother have this. Usually starts in the later decades of life uh, into your 40s and 50s. Um, and the difference between hand osteoarthritis and rheumatoid, because rheumatoid will cause an hour's worth of stiffness and joint swelling, but the pattern is different, and that's the key. See, in hand osteoarthritis, you have the these joints, these joints, the DIP, the PIP, but never these knuckles, the MCPs. See how you can see the valley in between those? If those knuckles there are causing significant swelling and you're not somebody that's using a, a jackhammer or something like that or a boxer that has multiple fractures, you really need to have that checked out to make sure that is not rheumatoid arthritis because the two areas it affects are those MCPs and then the wrists. Now there are a lot of other things that can mimic rheumatoid arthritis that can cause swelling in those two areas. Uh, but at a minimum, you need to see a rheumatologist if you're ha having swelling there uh, for an inflammatory cause to your arthritis. So hope that was uh, helpful in regard to the difference between those two, uh, inflammatory osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Have a good day. Go Pitt.